Are you ready for some high adventure coming up next on the Mutual Audio Network? The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. The Hawk Chronicles follow the adventures of Detective Kate Hawk, who went from a Baltimore police detective to intergalactic investigator, from fighting crime on the streets to crime in the stars. In the last episode of The Hawk Chronicles. Hi, Angela. This is Kate. Did you guys have any luck with the van description I gave you? With as many white vans as there are in the region, our only saving grace is the broken quarter panel. You just lied to your team. I didn't lie at all. Ah, but you told her I was out of it. Like I said, Jim, I didn't lie at all. This is the address we have. We need to get in and take care of business. Police, open up. Locked. Stand back, I have the key. Police. What do we have here? A 3 on 8 Winchester. With a high-powered scope and a muzzle brake. Joanne Harris, you are under arrest for violations against the Federation. I'm not going anywhere. Ah! Kate, are you okay? I'm fine, Jim. We have a few things to do here, and then we gotta get out and let Detective Garcia have her moment of glory. I got a great idea, but I don't think you're gonna like it. And now, episode 26, A New Start. Jim, what do you mean you have an idea? And I'm not gonna like it. It's a game changer, Kate. One you may not be ready to accept. But... Not... Not now, Kate. One thing at a time. You need to wrap up loose ends there. I'll tell you about it when you come to visit. All right. But you know I don't like surprises. Pierman. Yes? Nelson's making an anonymous phone call to Detective Garcia's office, and they're gonna find enough evidence here to charge her. Is your plan to still let everything go through the court system? That's still the plan. We're confident that Miss Harris will keep her true identity secret. But even if she claims to be from an alternate universe, it would only hurt her more. Once justice has run its course, we can get her back into our system with a simple jail transfer. Okay. I'll finish up here, and then Nelson and I will go back to the office so Garcia and her team can give me the good news. I hear that. It seems like everyone else has been getting the credit for all our work. Hope to see you later there, Kate. Thanks. Kate, I made the call. I think it went well. We'd better clear out. All right. Let's hope Garcia gets here before she wakes up. <laughs> Don't worry. She'll be out for a while. Okay. We've done everything we can do. Now it's just a waiting game. Good afternoon, Mr. Barnes. I'm Rachel, and I'll be running some preliminary tests this afternoon. Tests? I hope you're grading on a curve, because I didn't study. (laughs) Well, I see your sense of humor is still intact. Jim, I'll be back later. These tests are quite important. You need to start learning how to access some of the circuitry. All right, but uh, if you hear me singing a bicycle built for two, you better come a-running. Excuse me? You know, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer. Ah, You don't watch much movies, do you? I'm sorry, Jim. I'm afraid I can't do that. Take care of him, Rachel. I will, Mr. Pierman. Okay, Hal. I'll be applying some gel to your head and attaching these sensors. Hey, do I get a perm, too? Oh, Mr. Barnes, you're such a mess. You don't even have any hair. Now, are these comfortable? No, but I guess it wouldn't matter. All right, Mr. Barnes. We'll take a baseline measurement of your brain. I want you to concentrate on the chart on the wall. I want you to read the chart to yourself pronounce each word in your mind. Once you've read it, close your eyes and read it back. Okay? Done. Really boring, though. No plot line, little character development. Don't worry. It gets better. Now, place your chin in here. Let me adjust this to your eye. I'm getting new prescription lenses? (laughs) Hardly, Mr. Barnes. We're going to calibrate and focus your new eye. A through F, which is the clearest. Uh, D. And now... Uh, A. Now, I want you to focus on the object in the center. It will appear to move farther away. You concentrate on keeping it in focus. We're at 10 feet, 15, 20. Keep focus. 45, 
still see it okay? Yeah, no problem. We're at 65, 80, 100. Okay, try to follow this. 300. Whoa, lost it. Oh, okay, now I got it. Very good for a first try. You can see this line on the chart at 300 feet, where most can only see it at 20 feet. Eagle eye bonds. <laughs> What I would like you to do now is look out the window here when you have a moment and practice focusing on distant objects. Try to quickly zoom in and out at different distances. Eventually, it will come naturally. Hey, what about this circuit board or whatever it is you, you people put in my head? It's going to take quite a while before we can work with that. Generally, it takes six months for the neural connections to be made with the bioreceptors on the board. We'll begin with simple tasks and gradually move up to higher brain functions. Oh, what do you think I'll be able to do eventually? It's wired into the speech recognition area of your temporal region. Eventually, you'll be able to process language on the fly. We can upload the dynamic library link and the processing software, and you won't need an external translator. So uh, I could go to Kate's favorite Chinese restaurant and order just <laughs> like her? If that language is loaded, you certainly could. Now, you practice, and I'll be back tomorrow for another session. <laughs> Arrivederci! Ciao, Bella! Hey, it's working already. Detective Hawk. Kate, Angela, we've made an arrest. Great work! We received an anonymous tip on our hotline. Someone said that they saw a white man the day of the shooting on that dirt path. They also remembered the business logo on the door, and you're not going to believe what? What did it say? It led us to the very same pawn shop that you and Barnes went to on an unrelated case. Joanne Harris? The very same. We found her asleep in a chair with a Winchester 308. The very same rifle that shot Jim. Detective Angela Garcia. Outstanding. Jim will be very happy to hear that. He's out of his coma? Uh, no. no. I mean, when he wakes up, he'll be glad to hear that. I'm supposed to talk to the doctor at the Mayo tonight. I'll let them know, just in case he wakes up before I can tell him. I know he'll make it. He's a tough old guy. Well, we're processing Harris now. She'll be in booking for a while, and then we'll try to question her. Even if she doesn't talk, I'm confident that we have enough evidence for a conviction. I'm getting a warrant now to search her apartment. I'll keep you in the loop. Thanks, Ange. And again, great work. Was that Garcia? Yeah, they got Harris. She's in booking now. So I assume your people will go ahead with your plans? Well, according to Pierman, we'll just let justice take its course. And then we'll get her as soon as she enters the penal system. It's quitting time. You hungry? Not really. I, I promise. Someday you can buy me one of those famous hot dogs. But I'm on my way to Martin State for a transfer to see Jim. All right. Give him my best. Von Longer was in custody. Jeremy Parks was in custody. And now the mysterious woman who orchestrated their escape and shot Jim was in custody. Everything was tied in a nice little bow. And here I was, on my way to another dimension to visit my partner. Walking down the hallway in the alternate Mayo Clinic, I realized that I had just ridden a spacecraft to another dimension and a different Martin State Airport, then hopped a different stip to an alternate Rochester, Minnesota, and didn't even blink an eye like it was perfectly normal. If you'd told me two weeks ago that I would do something like this, I would have ordered a straitjacket in your size. There he is. Contemplating your escape, Jim? Hey, Kate. Uh, no, I was just admiring the view. Especially that wood duck. You'd think he would have migrated by now. Wood duck? Where do you see a wood duck? Hey, he's just to the right of that log in a pond. Next to the White House with the green shutters. I don't see any. Wait, are you talking about that speck on the horizon? That house must be half a mile from here. A good estimate there, partner. It's actually 860 yards, according to my heads-up display. Jim, are you pranking me again? No, nah, I've been learning how to focus on different ranges and just discovered how to access this HUD. You know, the HUD heads-up display? I'm not real consistent with it yet. That's amazing. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Who would have thought that a prank investigation would lead to this? So, what's the word on Harris? Garcia and Drew made the arrest without a hitch. So Nelson's call worked. Nelson. Boy, I bet that was a shocker to you. 
Pierman filled me in. When he came into the control room with the handler, I didn't know whether to laugh or deck him. I have to confess, though, Kate, this whole thing it bothers me a bit. Well, me too. I mean, come on, Jim. Parallel universe, space travel, aliens among us. Oh, that part was exciting, crazy, and different. No, what bothers me is that from that first day on the roof at Florina's place, when you were in the stip alone, you learned about everything. You knew someone escaped. You knew the mysterious German was Von Longer. Jim, I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you. And you knew Parks was one of them, and that this prank we were investigating in Little Italy was behind everything. You let me go on a wild goose chase to pursue Ellen Florina when she wasn't even involved. Jim, I swear. I didn't know she was involved or not. You knew enough. You let me run around on a wild goose chase. Have you talked to Kelly since you've been back? My sister? Why? Because when I got the hot tip from Harris, I called your dad's old place, and I talked with your sister. She said you never told her of any plans to visit. You were off in Denmark chasing a dangerous fugitive who nearly killed you. In the meantime, I'm chasing a lead that you would have known was false, and I got my butt shot. It was your head. What? It was your head. You got your head shot, not your butt. <laughs> Oh, Catherine Delaney Hawk. Jim, I'm truly sorry. I really am. But put yourself in my position. Would you tell me that there are aliens among us traveling back and forth through a portal created by Roosevelt's elevator? Uh, yeah, but that's why you often call me Agent Sully. Jim, you're like a father to me. Oh, that's a real boost to my fragile ego. <laughs> you know what I mean. I've always looked up to you. I know for a fact that it was your recommendation that got me to detective. Well, look, it was mostly your skills, but yeah, I talked to the right people. And that's why I want you to consider something. The game-changing proposal. Are you sure you still want me? I want you to be my partner. But I'm your partner already. No, my business partner in the Barnes & Hawk Detective Agency. Will Kate leave the force and give up what she's worked so hard for, or will she stay? Would Barnes go it alone and end their partnership? Find out on the next episode of the Hawk Chronicles, A Fork in the Road. Sweet Sue has been tied to the railroad tracks. Will our hero save her? Well, of course, the hero always prevails on Thriller Thursdays. I'm John Bell, the hero that rarely prevails in Bells in the Bat Free, the comedy show you can hear every Friday Follies and a bunch of Sunday showcases. Oops, looks like the hero may have been a tad late there.